Hey everybody, it's Jake, and welcome back to Valhalsia 3. Uh, today, I am recording two videos because I have to leave this week for some family stuff. So, I hope I get these all out on time. And anyways, let's just hop into it. All right, and here we are in our wonderful little Valhalsia world. There are some creepy crawlies out and about. And as you may notice, the builder's hut is just about done, actually, if not finished. Finished? Is it finished? No, it's not finished. But this is uh, the builder's hut, and it's honestly looking really good. Margaret has outdone herself here. This is a very cool little area where we can manage all of our buildings and of course the town hall will be over here and we'll you know expand this as we go but that is not the focus of today today i want to work on a, another mod that i found should be pretty helpful to what we are doing and that mod is called tetra tetra is a mod that uh if some of you remember Tinker's Construct, that is kind of what Tetra is like. I believe it is the successor to Tinker's Construct. It's, new, it's a new mod, obviously, but, you know, it's like a successor to it. So, first things first, we're going to make ourselves a hammer, which is kind of like the first step for Tetra. And that gives us this lovely little item, the Hollow Sphere. <laughs> and now this is pretty cool. This uh, is the first part of Tetra. This is really, really cool. Wow, and there's so many different kinds of metals and fibers, and there's skin and bone and stone and gems and scales. There's so much cool stuff here. But that is not the extent of what we can do with tetra though there is oops there is more oh hey the builder's hut's complete why don't we go give it a look wow this looks about the same as when we just saw it except it has more leaves but it is quite cool i'm actually gonna hey shush <sighs> darn birds okay anyways this is quite cool i don't know what this is but I won't question it this is very very nice though and this eventually will you know lead into our town hall this direction we can probably put a road that goes this way or this way and oh oh whoa, whoa. before I go any further a lovely user uh, my little brother in fact gave us a name for the town may I get a drum roll please editor Jake and ha i blurred it you can't see it yet are you ready okay three two one dun, 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 dun. the name is ziggy town <laughs> so thank you owen for commenting that i <laughs> you know ziggy town that's the name and i said i'd take the best comment so that's what we're doing <laughs> so, <laughs> Ziggy Town's first builder <laughs> has created a home. Alright. So, now we have made ourselves a bench. And what this does is this allows us to edit our hammer. However, in order to edit our hammer, of course, we're gonna need a hammer. Because if you think about it... I don't know why I let him in, to be completely honest with you, but he's here, and I guess it is what it is. Let's grab some iron, and let's go ahead and see if we can make a hammerhead. We can. We can make an iron hammer. Wow. Okay. So, we want... Oh, too bad you can't make a lead hammer. Okay. So there we go. We have a fully iron hammer now. It is tier three. 
it allows us to hammer things. So now watch this. If we put our sword in here, we can see that we have, you know, our sword. We can change we can change the sword. We can change the blade. You can serrate it. You can make it short. You can make it, make it a tiny little blade. It, you know, there's so much that we can do. And the higher tier hammer we get, obviously, the higher tier stuff we're able to do. So what I'm thinking is I am going to go do a couple things off camera. And then we are going to work on building an area for our workshop. But first, I would like to set up some housing for our residents because right now we are running a little short. And by a little short, I mean we have four citizens and not a single one of them has a bed. So I want to go ahead and set up some housing. And then once we get that done, we can move on. So I'm going to go do that off camera because I know you guys don't want to watch me just gather materials and stuff. We did that all last episode. So I'm going to get the mine colony stuff set up and then I will catch you guys back and we will work on Tetra. Me in, you know, all of my genius did not realize, in fact, how long it would take for dark oak trees to grow and to get all of the resources for a single house. So, while I wait for my trees to grow, which will take a while, we're gonna work on Tetra. And I will just focus on mine colonies off camera and that will be my little project because I know you guys don't wanna see me do all that. Now, if we go ahead and check advancements, which is honestly a pretty good guide, all we need, I believe, is the bench. I don't think that we need anything else to create. However, there are upgrades and stuff that we can do through spelunking, where you go into the deep underground and find an ancient ruins. Now, ancient ruins are ancient, and I don't know what's in them. However, they form in generally mountainous biomes, so if we wanted to take a trip, I keep doing that. I don't have Opti Fine. Oh. If we take a trip into the mountains over there, it is likely we will find what we're looking for. However, I would first like to upgrade some of our tools. Now, the question is, what kind of materials do we have that we can use? That is the question. We can use almost all of these. We can't use zinc. We can't use uranium, but we can use osmium, iron, tin. However, none of them are as good as iron. <coughs> so, that's off the table. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make an iron delabra. And now that is pretty cool because it means that I need to sleep. That's what it means. I'm actually also going to take my bed with me because I don't have the houses built yet. Which means that our people could die. But anyways, us having an iron delabra means that... Wow, this feels wrong. I'm breaking stone with what looks like an axe with a long butt. Oof. Anyways, let's go to the mountains and do some exploring. Here we go. Alright, and now... We just work our way down. Okay, what's uh, this? Glocelium? What the? Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, no, no! <sighs> I don't know why I didn't see that. Um, Ancient tome. All right, I'm going to leave a waypoint here for the goodies chest because my inventory is a little bit full. So actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dump everything that I don't quite need right now for this just so I can save it. Worst case scenario.
Well, that wasn't very hard now, was it? Harvest level five? Forged vent? What? Is that it? I can't see. Oh, it's not it. Okay, what if I break it? I don't have a crowbar. I have a level three hammer, so I don't know why I can't. F Flex mesh. Hit the highlighted areas on the crates and containers with the correct tools to break them open. I've been using my stone hammer, not my iron hammer. Oh my gosh. I'm so dumb. Now, do I hold it? Oh! There we go. I see. Now, this needs a crowbar. What did I get from that? An insulated plate. It can be attached to a forge hammer or a transfer unit to increase its efficiency. What? This was honestly just confusing. And I don't know what to think of this. However, one good thing... What? What do you mean not currently harvestable? What? Okay. Well, that sucks, I guess. Huh. Wow, and there is a whole big area down here fit for mining. Okay, I guess I'll head up and turn this back into a normal pickaxe and axe. And we'll go from there. Ah! Oh, chunky skeletons. I'll come back for you, goodies chest. I'll come back. Where's the way out? Is it back? Th I think it was back this way. What the? What was that thing? Okay. Oh no, and it's day. Oh, and it's night. I gotta sleep. Otherwise, the villagers are gonna die. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no. Okay, sleep, 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 sleep. Okay, 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 okay. We're back, we're back, we're back. I think we're okay. And my dark oak trees grew. Whew. So I'll chop these down and get some new ones growing. I also need to get some food. Oh, ho, ho. cheese thickies. Oh, look at the, look at the swing on it. Cool. And it does 6.5 attack damage now. That's pretty good. Okay. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> so, okay, we got two leather. And yes, I did kill the wandering trader. I'm a horrible, evil person, I know, but he was annoying. Let's see if we can find some animals. Turkeys wouldn't drop leather, right? No, but you do drop chicken, and I kind of need food. Oh, my friend. Oh, did he just attack me? You are walking a dangerous path, Dakota. I'm angry. I not get leather. Seriously, though. Alright, there are, like, no leather-producing animals anywhere within a 40-mile radius of my home. I just want to know what a belt does. Could I please have some leather? Leather! One more, one more. 
Oh, I'm sorry. You make such horrible sounds when you die. Thank you for the look. Oh, is this a black pig? Oh. Oh, okay. My game froze for a sec. It is. You're so cute. I wish I had a lead. I would adopt it. <gasps> I'm actually dumbfounded. Why? Why? Those noises. I'm so confused. That actually just scared me. I'd, I'm so confused. Am I being haunted by the dead deer? I don't get it, but whatever. Oh, oops. Okay, I'm going to restart. I'll be right back. Just waiting for the world to load. Oh, we're in. Oh. I'm so dumb. That. That whole quest for leather. <gasps> Baby skeleton! Ah! Ah! Die. Die, die, die. Thank you. Okay. Oof. That whole quest for leather was pointless. I'm not good with Mott. I just very much am not that. I finally can make us a belt that we can upgrade. And what was that advancement about? Simple utilities. Craft a very basic tool belt from four pieces of string. So now... Okay, there are all kinds of things. There's... Well, okay, a rope and some can easy access one of your tools, but the rope lacks strength to support additional tools. Huh. Okay, so now we have a woolen tool belt. We have a booster unit, a potion bag, and belt straps for our tools. Okay, so now... Can I put anything in there? Whoa. Okay, I have no idea how the tool belt works, but we have one. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a confusing episode. However, I have run out of time because I have to leave in two days and I have to edit three videos in one day. So I am unfortunately out of time and maybe did not get to explore tetra as much as i wanted to today but next week uh hopefully we can do a little bit more i will do some off camera work to get our builder busy and anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of valhalsia 3 and i will see you guys all in the next video peace out <laughs>